A USD whistleblower is reporting suspicious, suspicious activity at the Wellness Center. The Red reports Nick Wilson investigates the money laundering accusations against intramural referees. Students used to play intramurals for fun and exercise, but now corruption has soiled the integrity of the games. Intramural referee Sean Poonel denied being involved in criminal activity, but after video emerged of him practicing with players and accepting bribes, he confessed to the crime. Pretty much every single one of us. I mean, even my GA, Max, is in on it. It's kind of a, it's kind of whatever, you know. We, we got to make a quick buck every now and again. But the evil doesn't stop there. The refs also gambled on games they officiated. It's, it's kind of a thing we all do. We all get together before the game starts. And one thing I like to do, I like to pick out a team and say, I'll give you six and a half points. It's either they take it or not. And the refs feel absolutely no remorse for their actions. The once beautiful spectacle known as intramurals has rotted into a sick cash grab for those who don the black and white stripes. Only time will tell just how much longer they continue this illegal operation. For the Red Report, I'm Nick Wilson. Despite the overwhelming evidence, no arrests have been made. The South Dakota High School Activities Association is adding yet another class to that state's football program. The move comes following this year's state football championships. The new class is named 11 Quadruple A, and the new category is, in, is the eighth in the state and only includes the six Sioux Falls area schools. The Activities Association representative says the seven classes just doesn't feel like enough for the state of South Dakota.